Right, this morning, uh, we've got to get in our girders, or our SGs, U-beams, whatever you call them. We've got to put a U-beam up the top here called the ridge beam. So now uh, we've got to get a genie, get it up. Uh, we've got to put our RSJ across here that will support the wall plate and to have a post that goes up from the RSJ up to the ridge beam and bolts it together and holds it. So that's where we are. Our problem is getting the RSJs, the U-beams around into here. We've had to come over the scaffold through a narrow, narrow way and round. We've got one round, but we're going to film the next one to show you what we have to do. Okay, so we'll carry on. Catch you in a minute when the guys are lifting it round. Helps when you've got blooming giants. Go round a bit, let's go round, that's it. Just an update, what we've done now, we've got our RSJ in, padded up, so uh, we've got it jacked up with car jacks actually to get it really nice and tight to the top, and uh, that's all going to set now, ready for tomorrow, and we've got our genie here, we're going to take up in the morning the ridge beam, and that's going to go up to the top. And then that's going to have this post on it here. So this post goes between the two and supports the, the ridge. Okay, so tomorrow morning, when we turn up on site, we'll have the genie take up the ridge beam and we're all prepared for tomorrow morning. Okay, right, here we are, morning, and uh, up she goes. And so we're going to get this 
turned in. Just a minute, Luke. We'll wait a minute, Luke. We'll, we've got to turn this now around, facing there, and then we've got to get this one up and into this hole here. Okay, so that's where we're at now. So if you just push this along a bit, I've clamped it on there, so it's not going to come off. Keep going. And take it up a bit more and twizzle him around again. Whoa, I twizzle it round in. Just uh, push him around bigger than So, what? Got it clamped. So, can we twist him around? Come on, we get that. Go up a bit more. Okay. A bit more. Yeah, we're just. So let's just straighten him up a minute. So let's pull it round a bit. It's nice and gently. Twist him this way. And then gently. Just back this way. Underneath, just twist him a bit more. So we're just underneath the, underneath the ridge. Yeah, want to go for a bit. Wind it up Straighten it up a little bit. Okay. Just twist it a bit because it's not parallel with the uh, ridge. Gently. Yep. Right. Now, yeah, just got to watch that clamp at the top. Uh, so it's actually got to go. It's actually got to go in, into there now. So watch the clamp at the top. I've got to, that clamp's going to hit the ridge and then we won't move it, so I'll have to get that off, okay? Let me get and sort that now. Right, we're, uh, if you can see the laser line there, that is, uh, we're uh, parallel with the roof, it's in line, and the laser's telling us that. And so them are in line now and plumb off the laser. And so we're just going to check if this is level across there. What you see Ben doing here is cutting back the old ridge, the old rafters. They've overhung and we can't bolt our post on, the strengthening post to the ridge beam. So we're removing them using our multi-tool. So now we can bolt it all together and uh, so that's what we're doing now, just bolting them up. Right, now the pad stones are set, we can start taking the walls out.
just knock this out now. <laughs> At the end of the day, that's all locked out. We've had a good day. We've got a, we've got our ridge beam in, our lintel of RS gear cross with its post on, and we've got it knocked out. And it's half past four. We've had a good day. Okay. See you later.